getting a little cloudy outside. At the end. At the end. Well, it's getting a little cloudy outside. A little dark. Perhaps even a little rainy. What's new? Other than that, I'm Bradford Goodrich. It's July 15, 2013. And I'm asking the question, what is it about this Jesus? All right, quick recap. So, God says, don't eat from this tree. Eve wanders away from Adam, which she shouldn't have done. They should have stayed together. You always practice the buddy system. So she goes through the tree of knowledge of good and evil, a big no-no. There's a snake. He looks pretty. He starts talking to her. This is sort of weird. But apparently, it doesn't bother Eve. So, he says, did God really say blah, 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 blah? And Eve goes, God said we couldn't eat from this tree. We couldn't look at We, we couldn't touch it. Yeah, you could look at it, but yeah, not touch it. And he goes... Oh, well then maybe you should try it or something like that. Because because you won't die. There's nothing wrong with that. God knows that you'll be like him. Eve, oh, it looks really good. So she has some. Goes, wow, this is really good. So she takes some to Adam. Adam, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's fruit or Eve. Eve or fruit, you know? He doesn't want to lose Eve. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. And so he eats the fruit too. And then it's like, oh, we're naked. Oh, we're naked. Whoa, we're naked. And they hide. And then God strolls through the garden. Adam, where are you? And Adam, well, I'm hiding because I'm afraid because I was naked and God is all who told you you were naked and Adam's like Wah! and Eve's like Wah! and Adam's like it was all her and Eve's like it was all the snake and it just doesn't look good for anyone so yeah that's what happened they sinned and thinking back to Genesis 2 16 and 17 we know that the punishment for disobeying was death now some people portray God as all fire and brimstone, as if he's just waiting to strike people down. And that's not the case. You know, God isn't like that. Is he angered by sin? Yes. Does he get really, really, really upset when people are just provoking him, you know, like pushing his buttons, like, I'm going to do what I want, you know, I'm rebel, I'm going to do this terrible, terrible, terrible thing, I don't care what God says. Yes. But he's not all, hey, I want to kill Jimmy over there. No. Poor Jimmy. He doesn't want to do that. For example, when Eve directs her attention and blame to the serpent, God turns on the serpent. He says the serpent will have to crawl on its belly for the rest of its life. So we get this idea that the serpent at one point had legs or um, wings or something like that. But now it's on its belly. And God says he's going to put enmity between the woman and the snake and that her offspring will be against him its offspring. So it's going to be this whole <laughs> sorry, it's more like cat, more <laughs> between, you know, the children of the woman, Eve, and the slithery little ch children, babies of the servant. And yet, when you read that, isn't that a little odd? I mean, God said Adam and Eve would die if they disobeyed. And yet here, suddenly, you know, they have a future. I mean, they're having kids. You don't have kids if you're dead. So, what? Exactly. I, right. So, while Adam and Eve disobeyed God, while they're in the wrong and are awaiting their punishment, and rightly so because they deserve it, they're being, they're realizing that God still cares about them. But it shows us that, you know, God isn't out to just, you know, zap, pow, and us. Think about it. The future that Satan promises, one of, hey, 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 you know, just fancy living, which what, that's what he says. Some motorcycle going by. Remember, Satan's not interested in you having everything. He promises you that, but that doesn't mean he's going to deliver. We can't weaken or lessen God's role as judge, but we can have hope and assurance that Jesus still wants to be our Savior. So yeah, there you go. It's Monday. It's a brand new week. We're wrapping up Genesis 3. Subscribe. Read the blog. I need to start writing the blog again. But hey, the videos, that's the exciting stuff. So do that. Share it. Like it. Subscribe. Tell other people. Spread the word. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'll see you Wednesday with a brand new video. Woo.